That's right, traveller, could I ask you to bring these toys to my daughter? This will be all. She stays at Chingsei Village. If you ask Granny Rusin, you're sure to find her. That's so sad. He just wanted to go spend time with his daughter. I'll take your toys. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Oh, she's hiding in the back. She's tiny. Hello. Are you here to catch me and take me back to Chingsei Village? Um, I have something for you. I don't need anything from you. You're just trying to bribe me. Go back and tell the villagers that I'm going to leave your harbour to look for daddy. Wait, why couldn't someone take her to the harbour? I mean, I guess her dad can't really spend time with her anyway, but still. Where, where did she go? Where did I leave her? Oh, there she is. Um, how is she not terrified of the monster? I wonder... No. Oh. <laughs> You're not know fair. I also wonder if she is terrified and that's why she's hiding. Like, she is hiding in a bush. Like, this, this looks like she's... Like, that looks like she's trying to hide. <laughs> Now she can't because I removed the book. Due to the unfortunate incident involving our dear former comrade Erga and Jong Yuan Chopsui, I have made the decision to readopt the use of this billboard. In the future, please can everyone make sure to leave a message here when there is an important update to share. Uh, read the newest message. Due to the work obligations of our superiors next month, we shall return to the chasm and continue supporting the work there. It is time to stop speculating about the previous mine owner's alleged treasure and to get on and do our jobs. Do not forget the lesson of our dear former colleague, comrade Erga. Did he like poison himself or like, I don't know. It kind of sounded like there was something to do with food is cause of all the drama. Okay, uh, rumors have pre been spreading about the recent discovery of the state of Mr. Hong, the previous mine owner, including a letter, an alleged book collection and a treasure stash. Please take these rumors with a pinch of salt and totally do not let them, uh, thinking about them impede your progress. Keep working hard. Also, due to the fact that bandits have recently been active in Dihua Marsh, please note the arrival of the merchant's caravan is likely to be later than usual this month. While you're in the mine, be extra careful. If the torches start burning blue, it could be a sign of volatile gases being produced deeper underground. It'd be terrible if there was an explosion. I'd also like to take this opportunity to observe a moment of science for our dear former comrade, Erga. Is this Erga? I also think I'm saying that name wrong, but it's fine. Uh, continue. I'm aware of the recent complications Complaints that there are not enough finches to go round. Please be assured that arrangements are being made to procure some ball. In the meantime, it is absolutely imperative that everyone is clear on the following points. Finches play a crucial role in the mining operation because they can detect when the air is not safe to breathe. In light of point one, please refrain from cooking and eating the finches, however tasty you may find them to be. Please, please do not forget the lessons to be learned from the incident involving our dear former comrade, Erga and Zhongyan Chopsui. Hey everyone, guess what? Remember Hong's letter? Well, I think I found a clue to his treasure in the mine today. It said something about red leaves and whatnot. I couldn't make head nor tell of it. Hong being the scholar type, it was full of big words. Ah, if any our dear former comrade, a uh, girl was here. Who is this guy? Why is... What happened to him? Don't let it go already. Stop wasting time on this. Regarding the recent deadline, decline in the mine's output, I spoke with Mr. Dai. We both think the Ming Yun village is about to run dry. I just had a discussion with the people at the Hui Shan Hall. It's possible we will be transferred back to the chasm soon to continue the work there. Please be assured there is no cause for concern. To Mr. Dai, I can't, can't, oh, I can't seem to find a copy of the latest volume Heart's Desire anywhere. I'll have another look shortly. To Erga, I couldn't find you, so I gave the mushrooms, cabbage, cheese, flour, and recipe you ordered to Zhong. He'll look after them for you. Hey everyone, dinner's on me tonight. Mushroom pizza for everyone. Mushroom pizza, yay! I found something Hong left in the mine. It mentions the brothers and stuff. Might be something to do with the treasure he mentioned in the letter. But you should always put safety first in a treasure hunt. Same applies to mining. Remember to constantly knock on the rock of the tunnel ceiling. If it sounds like the rock is hollow, it's a high risk of a cave-in. I'd also like to take this opportunity to observe a moment's silence for our dear former comrade Erga. <sighs> I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm going to keep going until we loop back round. Uh, hey everyone, today's my last day in the mine. I'm getting married next week. Anyone who is free is more than welcome to join the wedding celebrations, especially the libations. The long Ming Yun village and farewell my friends. Write me if anyone finds Hong's treasure. All the best to Zhong for the future. Everyone else, please stop wasting time on treasure hunting. We are miners, not adventurers, and certainly not treasure hoarders. <gasps> okay. I have a feeling we might be looking for treasure. I really hope we're looking for treasure. That sounds fun. You guys, believe it or not, I found a clue to some treasure in the godforsaken village. Let's meet at the usual spot. We cannot let these adventures beat us to it again. Ooh, I think we are. I think we're looking for treasure, like good old-fashioned treasure. I think we're actually doing a treasure hunt. 
I have no idea, like, what else could this possibly be apart from, like, a ghostly treasure hunt? Safety first in the mine, life is not a game. Never enter the mine without a finch or the former will be forced to come after you. Progress is important, but personal safety is paramount. Supporting your crew should be at the front of your mind at all times. Try to avoid worrying about your family. Stay calm and slowly retreat if you see a hella child. Do not follow the example of our dear former comrade, Erga, uh, who... <gasps> no! See if the second half is scribbled out! I thought we were about to find out what happened to him! I... I'm very annoyed right now. Like, are you kidding me? They couldn't tell me what happened to him? Really? The tree who stands alone has no forest to call his home. The sturdy rock has a heart of gold. Unite each other here share its blessing. This fortune hereby made known unto you. I say, honour the will of your father. What does that mean? Look for a will? They're moving us all to the chasm next week. The mine at Mingyun Village has run dry now. Please remember to take all your tools and personal belongings with you and seal off the mine entrance before you leave. For the last time, please pay no heed to the rumours regarding Hong's letter and the hidden treasure. I'll be honest, I'm not really seeing anything in this Oh! <gasps> Found something. <gasps> There's a ghost! Hmm. Lousy older brothers, all they care about is taking the best finds for themselves. And dad's losing it in his old age, either completely oblivious or just happy to turn a blind eye. I don't think they've realised yet that the treasure's in the mine. I've got to get my hands on it and then get as far away from here as possible. Let's see what this says. Oh, it's someone else. Yuan Hong. They've left. They've all left. Yuan Qing, Yuan Liang, Yuan Cheng. You foolish children, you'll have to think a bit more carefully and look harder than you are doing now. <gasps> oh, I think he's their dad, like all of them. And then like they all three of them. Oh no, I have a horrible feeling we're going to find the last brother in the last mine. <laughs> oh no. Did like his whole family, like, are they all dead? On a father's will, bah, there was one line worth reading in that thing. And that was the part about the treasure being in the mine. Take your mind, soon it will be all mine. Find the treasure. Hey, what's up with these brothers? Like, they, not one of them think, oh, we can split the treasure? Because they all just kind of ran off on their own and then just died. Children, we're supposed to be a family. You seriously thought I hid treasure in the mine? Ugh, there is a treasure though. Do you still remember the tree we planted together as a family when you were children? I come here every year and put a little something aside, hoping that when you're older we can dig it out together! And then use it to buy some treats and a bottle of wine to celebrate together as a family talk about the old times. Oh children, my dear children. Oh no! That's... <sighs> Why is today just like tragedy after tragedy? So first we had little, like the, the Middle East who wanted to go and visit his daughter but then couldn't because he, he couldn't get leave and then we have these guys the dad buried a treasure with his kids and then they all died trying to get the treasure because they were all really greedy and he just wanted to have a good memory and i'm in this configuration let me try shooting an edge one aha i got it <laughs> i got it i got it Amazing! First of all though, it's time to check for potatoes. Nope. Potato? Radish. Potato? Nothing. Like, it's so much more disappointing when they're empty. Potatoes? Nope. Sancieta. Potato? Nope. No potatoes. This floor was a bath. Potatoes? <gasps> potato! <laughs> we got a potato. Anything else? Nope. Potatoes? Cabbage. Potato? Potato! Okay, that's a bit deadly, so we're gonna... <gasps> Another potato. Perfect. This is a three potato room. I guess this makes up for the lack of potatoes in the other room. Let me try this again. Let me try this again. Okay. Jump one. Successful. No! Unsuccessful. I fell off. I'm not gonna make it again. <laughs> I can't even. <sighs> I guess I'm practicing. <laughs> oh dear, this is this is the best. Why can't I just climb on this stupid rock and then climb on here? Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be okay. How did I miss? What? Where did it go? Okay, I think I'm gonna fail again. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford. What? Where is it going? How? 
come last time it worked? And this time, okay. I think I failed again. I failed. It's fine. <laughs> Why is this not working? Is it because it's too close to that one? <sighs> now are you gonna work? Oh, now it works. Okay, I don't think I'm close enough though. Yeah, I'm not close enough. Great. How do we get up there? Like, I'm not thinking. I'm. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna be tall enough. Oh no, <laughs> no! Great. Like I don't know what I'm doing, like at all. I mean, it's kind of vaguely working. Like something's happening, but is it happening correctly? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. Have I have I done it? Not yet, but. Oh. Is that is that it? Or does it need me to go anywhere else? Is that it? Oh no! I just got hit. D did I get it? Okay, I got it. That was like there was like three seconds left because I didn't know I had to go over there. If I had failed after getting the chest because I didn't climb that last little bit, I would have been so upset. Oh my god, we! <laughs> I love it. Paimon's doing her smug smirk, and we did it back. We did it back. I love it. Keiko never does it, but Paimon always does. But look. <laughs> we are equally as smug. I'm just sta- like... Surely this can't be fair, I'm just like stabbing him. Oh, at least I'm using Keiko as opposed to like... Someone else. Like it's not Jean, it's just Keiko. 